Today's special is Typetune, Pixflow's new plugin to create beautiful 3D-like titles. These aren't real 3D titles, but they very much look like they are. You can get the plugin and the pack from the link in the description below. Now I've installed Typetune on my After Effects and opened it from extensions under Window Menu. What we're watching here is the long list of 64 cool 3D-like titles of the pack lined up in the panel waiting to be used by a creative like you and me. I want to choose one of them and show you how to work with it in a scene as an example. Mm -hmm. This one got the ticket to the project. So hit create and wait for it to get into the project panel. Here it is. Now pay attention to one point here. You can have the title and the motion loop based on the duration of the title on the timeline. So right now I have it finished at two seconds. So it will be looped every two seconds. But if I change it to six seconds, for example, it'll loop every six seconds. And it basically works with even numbers as the duration implies. I'll bring down the preview quality to make the render smooth. Right, let's see how it is. We can start editing the title from the title settings inside the type tone panel or by choosing the setting layer and pressing F3. All right, let's alter the title based on our taste. Reduce the letting, increase the font size, and more character tracking. Now let's align the title to the center by changing the position under the transform. Inside the type tune panel, you can see a button called current. If you click on that, you'll see the text you currently have on the title. To change it, we can easily select and rewrite the title and also add another one to work with. Then hit apply to update the text in the project. Okay, let's reposition the text again, somewhere around here. Now increase the letting to separate the titles from each other. And a bit bigger font size. Generally, you can play around these settings one by one until you get the right settings for your scene. I think it's okay now. We can also change the position of the stars by changing their position parameters or simply dragging their anchor points to the point we want them to be. But as usual, dragging is preferred. Okay, time for a preview. Nice, now let's change the colors of the text. White for the first one, also the second one, and the racing red for the colors of the extrusion. Also the same red for the color of the star. It looks good to me now. Maybe the checker is better to be dark as the origin goes. Let's turn on the shadow and change its color. Same gray from the checker perhaps. And finally the background color if you want to have one. But if you don't, you can always turn it off to have a transparent background for your title. And it usually depends on your use of the title. Let's get a preview again. Okay, now the animation is the way I want it. But if I want to turn it back to the way it was originally, I can easily press this reset button on the type tune panel and all the settings will reset back to what they were. And this is basically how Pixflow's Typetune plugin performs and helps you to create 3D-like titles that are commonly used in the commercial and social media projects nowadays. As always, you can get the plugin and the pack from the link in the description below. I'm sure you'll have a lot of fun with it and get creative. Good luck!